Yeah, that is the future which we are working on. It will take some more time. We have to work on a few more technologies. One is scaling the power. One is the beam combination to achieve higher efficiency of their combination. But we are sure that in, in the next few years, we will have this capability. We are also, as DGECS mentioned, looking at how we can miniaturize it to put it on airborne platforms, how to put it on ships. So this is a journey which has started today, which is a demonstration what we gave you today. It's just the start of the journey. And with the synergy that this lab has achieved with other DRDO laboratories, industry and academia, I'm sure we'll reach our destination soon. This is one of the technologies, but we are also working on other high energy systems like high energy microwaves, electromagnetic pulse. So we are working on several technologies which will give us the Star Wars capability. What you saw today was one of the components of the Star Wars. So there are several projects which are now reaching its maturity. Over the next six months to one year, you will see several of our systems getting inducted. So VLSR, SAM, v Shorads, MPA, TGM. Then we have uh, the LCA Mark II also first flight should happen. So there are a lot of our systems which have reached now a maturity. And over the next six months to one year, you will see several of them getting inducted. If you look at any program anywhere in the world, it takes between 10 to 15 years to develop a new platform. So we have started this journey only in 2024 when the CCS sanctioned this project. So it will take 10 years and historically that is not, uh, we have committed to delivering the platform by 2035. And that is uh, as per what time most countries have taken to develop their fifth generation. So we want to start a aero engine program and we are looking at a collaboration with a foreign OEM to make sure to cut down the risks of a development. As you are aware, aero engine technology is a very complex technology. Although we have learned a lot of lessons from Kaveri, Kaveri was the fourth generation engine and the current engine technology has moved to sixth generation. So we want to work with a foreign OEM to cut down the risks as well as cut down the time for development. Hopefully, we will have some good news on this in the next few months. And this will be a sixth generation? Yeah, it will be a high thrust to weight ratio engine exceeding 10. So as far as I am aware, it is the United States of America, Russia and China who have demonstrated this capability. The Israelis are also working on similar capabilities. So we, I would say, are either the fourth or the fifth country in the world to have demonstrated this system. No, we have not yet uh, decided the final name. We will let you know once the decision is done. This is a, a major breakthrough, whatever we achieved today. And we have seen that the fixed wing aircraft, we have neutralized at a, um, a long range, um, some few kilometer range. And then we have also seen that we have a, a neutralized swarm drone, more than seven drones also we have neutralized. And also we have shown that whatever the fixed targets are there, the, like antenna, the electro-optic sensors, or long range we have also neutral, uh, we have blind them, antenna we neutralize. So with a laser weapon we can do a multiple target neutralizations. So this is one of the new and emerging weapon system where we have entered into this era of beam weapon. Earlier, whatever weapon you see, you want to kill, you require a missile to fire, you require a kinetic energy to fire. But this, this, in these cases, you require a beam weapon. This is a massless weapon and a concentrate of the laser light, it go and falls into the target and neutralize it. So this is a big achievement for our country, for a big achievement for our DRDO. You have seen that Mark I version of the same weapon system, a single channel we have already inducted as an anti-drone system and uh, that is already inducted uh, in the three services. So this is a, going to be a Mark II version of Alpha where the, uh, the, the will not wait, we are putting a six beam combination. So beam combination technology has also taken part. So from prototype to induction, it may take another a 
uh, two years time because we have to do some PSQR validation and many procedure to induct it to that. So it will take that much time. See, for the first time, we are showing a technology in use and its devastation, what we could showcase you in all forms. That indefinitely shows that how far we are going forward in our technology maturity. Now, as you increase the power, this is 30 kilowatt. So we have graduated from 2 kilowatt to 10 kilowatt to 30 kilowatt. So we know the system. Now, if you bring up to this, now beyond is going to be only the numbers. So 30 can go to 50, to 100, to 300, and endless. I think technology, the country has matured. And what you saw is an absolute indigenous product of multiple DRDO labs working on Synergy, along with startup, academic institutions, and industries together. Now, together we could achieve this journey. We are confident that we are going to reach the higher power very soon. See, the best part is you all have witnessed the devastation in the worst and the extreme situation. And what you saw today, this situation, uh, this system cannot perform below this. So you have seen about 3.5 kilometers is what we could neutralize actively, and you have seen the devastations. At any period, it can even exceed its limit. It may touch about to 4, 4.5, even 5 kilometers with the current one. See, there is active plan for this. What you saw is for the land. If we migrate it to the ship, we require a higher stabilizations on the systems, for which DRDO is at its best. So we know how to do it. Industries know how to do it. So together, we are planning to deploy the same similar systems with little tweaking onto the ship to prove the capability. Going back to the air is another challenge because the system has to be miniaturized, swap optimized, and lots of other technology we have mastered. Independently, we are realizing them, but soon we are going to migrate this to the aircraft platform as well. See, they were right when we were proving the technology by itself, where our focus was to prove the technology rather than the optimization. Today, we have focused on the technology achieved it. Quite a miniaturization has happened. You'll be happy to know the two kilowatt systems, sources which we are importing abroad, and today our country has developed three kilowatts smaller than that. Three kilowatts smaller than that. That's the kind of achievement of swap optimization which the country has done. And our other labs have helped us to optimize the thermal management to all other systems together. You are able to see the entire system in one vehicle. Max to max, this control unit will be another small cabin, and you are onto it for 30 kilowatt. And I think as you go up, we'll try to see that maximum within two vehicles, we will restrict the entire devastations together.